Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. They also specialize in CGC pre-orders. And another great thing, they have no sales tax unless you live in New Jersey. Sorry guys, forget about it. But no sales tax, lots of 10, CGC Comics, popculturezone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, it's Brian Stu Ben's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday night. Last few weeks, FOC has put out some banger comics. This week is not so much the case. Yes, I don't have a very big list this week, but there are some books that I do still really like. We're going to get right into it, starting with Image Comics. We get that Spawn Universe number one. This is a title that people have been waiting on. Todd McFarlane, Image Comics, and they've been teasing this for a while. This story is going to also have the genesis of, of three separate monthly titles. We're going to get a new Spawn title, a new Gunslinger Spawn title, and a new team book that's going to introduce new villains, new characters. I'm super excited for this. I'm not the biggest Spawn fan in the world, but I've been looking forward to this title. And I know there's those diehard Spawn fans are definitely in on this one. Does have some great covers for it, especially if you're a fan of J. Scott Campbell. And then, of course, there's always some Todd McFarlane goodness in here. But either way, Spawn Universe is finally here. It's hitting the FOC this Monday night. Also from Image Comics, we get vinyl number one. This is going to be a six-issue miniseries, but I talk all the time on this video how I do like those horror comics. I don't know if you would say this is a horror comic, but it is a tale of psychopaths, sweet love, and a serial killer named Walter. This has two covers for it. And like I've said before, back a few years ago, whenever someone heard, oh, six-issue miniseries, I'm not picking that up. That is no longer the case with comic books. We see miniseries all the time get reader and critical acclaim as well as collectability. And I'm not saying this series will, but we've also seen a lot of stories start out as miniseries and then they get picked up into ongoing. So there's always a chance. I don't think so much with this one because some also are self-contained stories and that's what they're supposed to be. I see this one being that way. Either way, I'm excited to pick this one up as well. From Marvel Comics, we get Silk number four. Yes, four issues in. I did talk about issue one, didn't talk about issue two or three, but these are also some of those plug and plays. We all know there's a Silk series coming to Amazon. Everyone's excited about that. And have said it before that I feel like Silk is one of the most underrated characters within the Spider-Verse. Now, there are people that have taken notice, but the main reason why I like this issue is there is an incentive 1 in 25 variant, and it's by that great artist herself, Jenny Frizen. I love the cover for this. Definitely going to get the pre-order in. Also from Marvel, we get Gamma Flight number one. This is a new team series book spinning out of Immortal Hulk. Yes, it's been a while since people have talked about Immortal Hulk as much as they were about a year or two ago. The story to me took a downward spin, but I've actually enjoyed the past five or six issues. So I'm excited for Gamma Flight. And another great thing about this, and the main reason I have this in this video is again, there is an incentive variant for this and it's by Kari Andrews. And it's that great cover swipe for where the wild things are. We've seen a couple cover swipes like this before, but here we get a great new team an issue number one and a great incentive variant. I'm definitely pre-ordering this one. Also from IDW, we get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 118. This is that ongoing series. Haven't talked about this series in a while, but the good thing about this issue is we do get that return of Shredder. Shredder's been to hell and back. The turtles don't know, is he friend or foe? As always, there's the cover A. There's also the Kevin Eastman cover. There is also the one in 10 Carl Johnson and Cinebrant. I always like to pick up the one in 10s. I just wish that the cover actually had maybe Shredder on it. It would be that much cooler. But either way, Return of Shredder in issue 118 of that ongoing Ninja Turtles series. Which is going to bring us to the Indie Showcase. 
Once again, the Indie Showcase brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. You can pre-order all the books talked about in this video, as well as the Indie Showcase books from Black Cape Comics. And the one I want to talk about in the Indie Showcase this week, yes, I just have one book. I told you it's a short list at the beginning, but this is still one of my favorite titles and I've been talking about it since issue one. And it's that yummy creator-owned Tony Fleek's goodness with Stray Dogs number five. I keep recommending this. I hope people are picking up and reading it. Everyone that's read it so far that I'm aware of tend to enjoy this. It's such a great take on animated pets with a little bit of a dark twist. But either way, Stray Dogs number five is hitting FOC. As always, it's got that cover eight. And then it's always got that horror movie homage variant. This time, we're getting some Friday the 13th homage. Love those covers. Love this story. And I'm going to continue to put it in this video and hope people pick it up, give it a read. But that's the Indie Showcase, and we're going to move right on into the additional printings this week. Even the additional printings is a little bit light, I think, because FOC falling on Memorial Day weekend. Also, DC Comics, their FOC already passed. They had, D they had FOC this week on Thursday, so I didn't put DC books in the video this week. But we do have a few and from Image Comics. We get Shadecraft number three getting a second print, as well as Radiant Black number three getting a third print. And like I mentioned about Stray Dogs earlier, must be good. It's getting later printings as well. We get issue number one hitting a third print and Stray Dogs issue number four getting a second print. And then from Boom, we get the many deaths of Layla Star number two getting a second print. That's another series. Ram V crushing it with the writing on the series. The art is fabulous too. I started taking notice of Ram V when he was writing these Savage Shores for Vault Comics. He's written a bunch of Catwoman one-offs, couple issues here and there, wrote in some other DC titles. But Many Deaths of Layla Star is another series. People that are reading it are taking notice and definitely enjoying it. So that's no doubt why some of these issues were getting number two with that second print. And there it is, guys. Those are my picks for this week. Told you it would be a small list. And like I always say, get those pre-orders in, contact your LCS, order them online, and secure your copies so you're not chasing them on release day. But more importantly, secure yourself a discount a lot of times when you do those pre-orders. With that being said, guys, this is Brian with Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.